And I want to go now to a member of Ukraine's parliament, Alexei Goncharenko, who's live from Odessa, Ukraine, with more on what's going on there. Alexei, thank you for joining us. What is the situation right now where you are? Hello. The situation is uh, stable and uh, controlled. Uh, there were news yesterday, and we know that Russian Navy advanced to Odessa, and there was a danger uh, of uh, um, landing operation. There was a danger of landing operation uh, in near Odessa. Uh, so, but finally, they didn't try to do this, but they are still in the sea, not far from Odessa and waiting for some possibilities, but certainly we are watching them um, very, very attentively. And also today I was uh, on the front line, which is in Nico near Nikolaev, and I can tell you what are the good news, uh, I mean, not only for Ukraine, but I think for the whole free world, is that uh, Ukrainian forces started some counter-offensive operations, counter-attacks, uh, against Russians. Uh, for example, in Kherson region, uh, we captured several uh, small uh, like towns, villages back from Russians. So it is important that we are not now only defending, but also we are uh, counterattacking them at some, uh, low, at some places. So certainly it is in limited volume, but it is. Now, President Zelensky called on U.S. Congress today to do more to help Ukraine. What do you need the most? The most we need weapons to protect our skies. Our army is holding the ground, uh, so we are very strong on the land, but uh, Russians are stronger in uh, the air, and they're taking our women and children from the skies and killing them in hundreds. So that is the most what we need. Aircrafts, air defense systems, uh, that's what we need. And more tougher sanctions, for example, SWIFT. In reality, Russia is not cut off from SWIFT. Only seven Russian banks are cut off from uh, an international financial system, which makes only 15% of Russian financial system. But uh, you understand that it's nothing. Even if one Russian bank will still be there, it means that Russia is there. So things like these, more severe sanctions and weapons, first of all, air defense. Now, the U.S. is now considering sending armed drones and other weapon systems to Ukraine. What impact could that have? That will make a difference, and that will be a big impact. With these, uh, more, with these weapons, uh, we will have more, we will be more active, and we can do more on uh, the ground, on the field, uh, with um, having a possibility to fight with Russians in the skies. So that is important, and we appreciate it very much, and we are hoping that it will come very, very soon for us, because every day matters. Now, Russia is claiming that Ukraine is now willing to give up its ambitions to join NATO and adopt neutral status. Ukraine's lead negotiator would not confirm that. But what do you think of those terms? I can tell you that it is absolutely game from Putin. Uh, Putin attacked Ukraine in 2014 when Ukraine was neutral, with no intentions to join NATO. Uh, so it is not absolutely connected. Uh, it's just uh, he's trying to justify his aggression with something, but uh, it's nothing. Uh, there is no any, I mean, the aim of Putin is to destroy Ukraine, not to make us neutral. We are neutral now, we're not members of NATO. And what? So I, I think that is a game. And I think that in reality, Putin is not ready for peace negotiations now, because he feels that, even, that West is not doing maximum. And if uh, he thinks like this, for him, it's an invitation to attack further Ukraine. If he will see, and if he will receive more air defense aircraft, I hope that will be so. At this moment, I think Putin will go to real negotiations. Now, Zelensky also proposed creating a union of countries. He called it the U-24. What's his vision on that? And what do you think that would do that other organizations like the UN and NATO don't already do? For Ukraine, it is important, and not only for Ukraine, uh, look around Ukraine, uh, Ukraine, Moldova, Georgia, other countries which are not members of NATO, and safety of which are is suffering from Russian Federation. And uh, I think that it is an uh, interesting initiative to, to have uh, like a common, uh, some new alliances uh, in Europe together with the United States, together with the United Kingdom. I think uh, that was meant by President Zelensky.
Now, more than three million people have fled Ukraine. Millions more are displaced within the country's border, according to the UN. So what's your message to Ukrainians who've been forced to leave their homes and those who are staying behind to fight? My message is that we are doing our best, uh, all of us, uh, our army, our politicians, members of the parliament, now I own not only MP, but also a uh, member of Civic Guard, to, to make their return back home as soon as possible. But there, I, I'm happy that they are now in safety, and we appreciate very much the help of Poland, uh, uh, Romania, um, other countries, which uh, are now inviting our uh, refugees and helping them. And my message to uh, those who are inside Ukraine that we will fight uh, and we will win. So that is, that is uh, absolutely sure. Uh, the only thing is uh, when. Alexei, how fearful are you right now? You just talked about how you feel Russian forces are kind of just on the cusp of coming into Odessa where you are. So how fearful are you for your personal safety and for the future of your country? My personal safety? You know, there is no any person in Ukraine who is in safety now. Me personally, in 2015, a uh, Russian uh, secret service organized uh, a, a, an attempt to assassinate me in 2017 to kidnap me. So I am like so long in this war that uh, I, I, I stopped to worry about this long, long ago. But I, what about I do worry? I worry about our millions of just ordinary people, women, children, who are suffering today because of this um, evil, which is Putin and Russian Federation. All right, Alexei Goncharenko, member of Ukrainian's parliament. We so appreciate your time today, sir, praying for your safety. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.